Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. This video is sponsored by Sonoran Desert Institute. If you're interested in a career in the ever-growing firearms industry, arm yourself with an education. Sonoran Desert Institute offers online learning like armorer courses all the way up to an associate degree. Visit sdi.edu or call 480-999-4767 to learn more. Hey there friends, thanks for checking in at the range. Now today we're looking at 345 ACP firearms. And let's start right here with the Walther PPQ 45. Those who love the PPQ and 9mm, you're going to find the same features here, except 45 ACP. Same cross-directional texturing on the grip, has a 12 round magazine, a four and a quarter inch barrel, so a little bit longer there but that same nice trigger pull that so many people love with the ppq and the pdp models three dot sights metal sights and an amazing package they put together now a lot of people said hey if you love the nine millimeter you have to check out the 45 acp and that's what we're doing today let's go ahead and take a few shots i already took one this is not my gun Yeah, nice. Here's the hoping that Walther makes the 45 model with the PDP handguns. Those are great. You know, they, they took the texturing, made it a little bit better. But I'm perfectly happy with the PPQ. Always was. It does have a rail there and that very nice trigger pull. Same disassemble. Ambidextrous slide stop right there. And a nice, they call this the M2 because it doesn't have the trigger bar magazine release but a fine handgun with the ppq 45. on the subcompact side of things here we have the car pm 45. very nice handgun i've owned this for about five years now i've always enjoyed it it's been so reliable five round mag they also make a six round mag three and a quarter inch barrel you'll notice that the slide is a brushed stainless they now make this with a blackened slide Tritium three dot night sights, a very smooth trigger pull, looking at six and a half pounds with a double action reset, but a very thin and lightweight 45 ACP, only an inch wide on the slide. That's pretty good. Polymer frame, very nice handgun. Carrying 45, this would make a great choice. Let's take a few shots. I've always loved the car PM45. I like the blackened stainless slide one as well that they're putting out now. And the price actually dropped on these a little bit. And that includes the, the night sights. There it is, love it. But now let's get to a carbine. The 45 carbine that I have here is my high point. Check that out, 17 and a half inch barrel, hydro dipped and digital camel. I think they did a great job. I've had this for a while. I've got a lot of rounds through it and it is still like brand new. Does have a rail up top, rail below the barrel there. A front sight that I had removed because it didn't quite co-witness with the optic. I have a Vortex Strike Fire Gen 1. You can check out that skeletonized stock. It does have a spring loaded butt pad, rubber cheek pad. It is a side charger and a thumb magazine release with nine rounds of 45 ACP. Really dig the high point carbines. I think a lot of people do. I don't hear many bad things said about them at all, especially for me. Let's take a few shots. I believe I have six loaded up here. Very nice, and it does have the last round bolt lock open. The High Point Carbine, this one's in 45 ACP digital camo, and I really do enjoy it. You know, for a pistol caliber carbine that is priced under 400 bucks, the High Points are really nice. And I'm a huge fan of Vortex as well. And together, the combination just works, and it has for years. 
So there it is, the Walther PPQ45, the Car PM45, and the 45 ACP High Point Carbine. I hope you enjoyed this. I certainly did. Love 45 ACP. I plan to do a lot more with it, especially with some of those 1911s that are so nice to shoot. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.